Hey beautiful souls, welcome to your weekly energy update for February 5th through February 12th. And though Valentine's Day happens and is celebrated mainly on February 14th, we're going to be looking into this week, what message does the soul, the higher self of Saint Valentine have for you regarding love? So I really like that subject. Um, and I know the character saint valentine sometimes there's some uh, you know controversy and blah 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 uh, about that and that's why the soul the higher self that unconditionally loving being on the other side this is what message they have for you and bonus uh, february 12th is actually my birthday and so my guardian angel wants to give each of you a bonus birthday card uh, for this reading as well so you're going to have a special message from my guardian angel so i'm excited to see what they have of course we're going to have readings for each individual zodiac sign we're going to jump into your right now. All right, Aries, this is your weekly energy update. We're going to start off pulling a card here from the Journey of Love Oracle. And this will be the first message that's coming from the higher self, the soul of St. Valentine regarding love for this week. All right, so for our Aries, what would you like them to know? Okay, <laughs> there we go. And you have yin yang lover. Wow. How perfect, right? And that is card number eight. We'll put that right here and let's see what message comes in here for you. So the force of attraction is stronger than your conscious control. Uh oh, <laughs> there is no need to fight this inner genius. You can learn to speak its language instead. What is it that captures you, that pulls you close, that holds so much light for you? Why fight it? Don't step away from what you really love to grab hold of second prize. Why not claim your first prize? It is there waiting for you. It is yours alone, beloved. No one else can claim your own divine birthright for you. Be yielding and let your desire fill your body, your heart, and your mind. You don't have to fight for what is already yours. It will come to you through the field of attraction that emanates from your own heart. It's not a question of worthiness or deservedness. It's not a question of trying to work out what you need or want. Your heart always knows. Listen, if you still can't hear, then just feel. You'll get the gist, gist of it soon enough. And this oracle has a message for you. No matter whether you seem to be heading closer to your goal or further away, you are making real spiritual progress and what you want is the same thing that is wanting you. What you are seeking is seeking you. It's only a matter of time before you get it. Wow, I, lo I love that. So, you know, you're really, really stepping into this journey of understanding what it is you truly want out of your life. And because uh, we get clogged so much in our mind um, from the outside world of all these expectations that are rooted in fear of losing a conditional love, this long list, and we're taken off course from what our heart truly wants. And our mind is, you know, trying to make all this stuff, check off all these boxes around. This is what has to happen for you to be successful and lovable and worthy and blah, 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 blah. But your heart really knows what it wants and it knows what's coming for it and it always will it's just a matter of aligning our heart um i mean aligning our mind with our heart not the other way around so i really really like this coming in here for you because there is this clarity around what your true dream is what you truly want in your life um, and um, and your mind is going to be aligning with your heart 
Now we also have the Star Tarot, which is a brand new tarot deck I bought for myself for my birthday. And I can tell already it's going to be one of my top five decks. I absolutely love it. And um, just don't tell my other decks. It's like saying uh, all my children are my uh, are my favorite. <laughs> so we'll see here what else for Aries. What else does St. Valentine's soul want for you? So these will be your three cards. And the first one here is the Five of Swords. Yeah, so the Five of Swords. Swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. It does represent a transformation of thought and belief in a way. Um, and because it represents conflict, there's this conflicting thoughts. And the conflicting thoughts happen between our human brain with fearful thoughts and our higher mind, which is rooted in unconditional thoughts of love. Um, and so there's this conflict that happens uh, in our mind because it uh, is so adamant that I need to defend these small t truths that are, you know, because I fear that I'm going to get rejected. I'm fear I'm going to be unlovable, all this fear, 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 fear. And then our higher our higher mind, which is influenced by the, you know, capital T truths of unconditional love, those don't need defending. Uh, but there's this working out of thoughts and beliefs and expectations around this because your heart is taking over, right? And the mind is becoming more in alignment with the higher mind. So I love that coming in here. Wow, look at this card. And the Prince of Wands. Wands is your drive, your ambition, your passion, your inspiration, your overall energy. And the Prince of Wands is the Page of Wands in the Standard Tarot. And this is about new energy coming in. Makes total sense, right? Because all this energy that you were investing into trying to prove that your small t truths are more true than other people's small t truths, all this conflict of mind, all that energy that you were investing, as you cut away those small t truths, all that energy you were investing comes back to you. It allows you to super focus and really guide your energy in a direction that's more in alignment with your, your true dream, what you truly want in your life here. So there is this release of the old ways of doing things, the movement into new ways of doing things, and the energy and the oomph behind it to help you move forward. So I really like that. And then you have the Eight of Wands. Talk about zzz. So Wands energy, Eight of Wands, is about a ton of energy returning to you. So you have so much fire energy anyway, but because um, this is your the fire suit, the fire element, and you have all this energy that returns back to you in such huge, huge ways. I mean, you got the number eight and the number eight. It it is. Um, I don't want to say it's overwhelming. I, I just feel like you're just like, oh my gosh, this feels so great. You just energetic, positive energy, not fearful energy. It's unconditional loving energy that just floods in. This also represents messages from spirit. So as you are connecting more to your heart, your vibration rises to that of what spirit speaks. You know, we have so much noise in the outside world, the chaos, that fear noise can make it difficult to hear the whispers of love from above. And what happens is that as you move away from this noise, you're turning down the fear noise as you're releasing uh, these thoughts and beliefs re related to fear, you're beginning to uh, connect more to the unconditional love from above. And so you're purposely raising your vibration to that of unconditional love and joy and laughter and peace and gratitude, which is the frequency at which spirit speaks. And so as the fear noise turns down and that l unconditional love energy increases, you're at the frequency. I mean, it almost feels like the frequency that you are able to hear more clearly from spirit, recognize the messages in the outside world, those messages that are dropped into your brain, the emotional message you, messages you receive. There's so much 
energy and uh, messages from spirit coming in during this week as you cut away these and you connect to that love and going forward it's not a one-time deal because the more you're clearing away this more and more and more the higher your energy becomes the more clearer and more clearer and more clearer um, it becomes so wonderful energy that's flowing in for you here and i love this for you um i'm just excited to see what you do with this now we also like i mentioned um february 12th is my birthday and my guardian angel wanted to give everyone a special bonus birthday card um, in celebration of my birthday so this will be a message from my guardian angel to you aries so let's take a look here and see i love this deck too one they're in the shape of a heart which i'll show you in a sec um, but they're beautiful um, imagery in here too so what message do you have for aries please all right this one right there and so you can see that they're a shape of a heart and then this beautiful beautiful picture on here and your message is oneness again this oneness with this someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart remember dearest one that even though there has been a physical parting spiritually those we love they never leave us creation is eternal nothing is ever truly missing for all is interconnected and ultimately one so a special message my guardian angel is in connection with your loved ones who have already gone to the other side and they're wanting to let you know that they are with you that the moment they left their body that they were immediately by your side in the spirit realm and they have never left your side and never will until you join them on the other side and then you guys will hang out around your mutual loved ones as well and they don't have to share the attention and the love you know uh, we have the capacity in the spirit realm to be all places all at the same time fully present so it's amazing it's hard to grasp that with our brain but they can be in multiple locations all at once and be fully it's almost like we clone ourselves and we're all in these different areas but we're able to be there a hundred percent of the time present with each individual loved one so know that they have always been by your side they're with you they support you especially with all these messages from spirit you definitely are going to be getting uh, confirmations of of the from those people who have passed on the other side that's part of spirit and the messages that come through too so what an exciting time here for you your heart is expanding it's growing your the conflict of your mind and with other people is uh, becoming smaller and smaller as you connect to that unconditional love seeing things from this higher place and boy the amount of energy that's going to be coming in starting this week and i feel like it's just going to exponentially keep growing growing and growing as you cut away more thoughts and beliefs and mindsets that are rooted in the fear of losing conditional love so i absolutely love this for you aries i can't wait to see what unfolds for you but that is what saint valentine's higher self and soul my guardian angel all your spiritual posse and the creator and spirit what they have for you regarding love this week and if you are looking for more messages of love from above in addition to these weekly energy updates i also put out monthly readings for each individual zodiac signs pick a card readings and a few other types of videos throughout the month so if you don't want to miss out on any of those and get updated immediately when they become available if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button and by clicking the subscribe button you're given access to the notification bell and if you go in there there is an option for all which if you select that two things happen one you're notified immediately when i post new videos and two you're also notified when i go live to provide free readings on youtube and in addition to all of that you also help spread the zen love and you uh, also help my channel grow in significant ways because when you 
like or share one of my videos, comment on one of my videos, or subscribe to my channel. Doing those things makes the YouTube algorithm so happy it wants to automatically share my videos as recommended videos to other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things I mentioned, please know I am very, very, very grateful for that. And the readings I put out are general readings here publicly. Uh, and if you are looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings uh, and all that information on the pricing and how you can book one of those is listed in the description box of the video down below. All right, beautiful people, as you go throughout this next week, please know that every second of every day of your life that you, yes, you, are unconditionally loved by the mother and the father of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. We'll be talking soon. And in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.